Hello. Uh, we are building a Minecraft server for under $500, as it says in the description. Um, but I already have a Minecraft server that I've been renting. I've been paying $59.99 a month, and it's going to end up being about $700 a year. And I thought, well, for that price, I might as well just build my own server. Because the specs that they're using, uh, what do they say? They're using a Ryzen 9 5900X at 48 or 4.8 gigahertz with four dedicated cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM. That's their best offer. I'm paying $60 for that. And it's not even near me. It's on the East Coast. And I'm in the Midwest. And people that want to play on my server are on the West Coast. So... I could move everything to the west coast, but then what about the people on the east coast? And they said I could have my server in Dallas, but after I pay for it, there's no option for Dallas. So I'm right here in the middle of the US, and so I think it'd be a great spot for a Minecraft server so everyone can connect equally. But anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm ditching the, the paid service, and I'm going to build my own. So Minecraft only runs on a single core. Pretty much. So you don't need like 24 cores or like a 13900K or any, anything crazy. I went ahead and got me this 13100F. It has four cores and it was only a hundred and what? hundred and eleven dollars. A hundred and eleven dollars. And you could get the one with the video processing in it or the graphics processing for twenty dollars more but i already had a extra graphics card that i'm going to throw in there you don't even need a graphics card for a minecraft server um anyway so we're gonna start off i already had this case but you can get this this is started off as a uh, 70 10 um optiplex dell optiplex and they're going for like 110 dollars right now they come with a power supply in them, and they're, well, they're a small case. It's a SFX case. So a normal case would be, like, this wide. Um, but it's what I had, and I like the case. Uh, it can go into a small spot and be out of the way. Um, this was originally my setup, but it didn't work out. Uh, there's some pictures of it. But uh, basically, I tried to shove a bunch of crap into here. And it was overheating, having issues. Uh, I ended up giving up. I tried so hard. I put a 3060 in here, set it sideways in there, and stacked three fans on top of each other just to keep the CPU cool. And I finally decided I needed a water cooling system, an all-in-one cooling system, just to keep this thing cool. Because it was, even with the speed hole, I have a fan here. It was still running pretty hot when I was gaming, and it was sounded like a small indie car race. Anyway, I ditched this case, went ahead and got me a real case, and this has just been sitting there, and I worked so hard on this case just to give it up. It felt kind of wrong. So again, I'm going to be trying to fit something that doesn't belong in here. And um, you can too, or you can just get a regular size case like an old person, or, um, and any power supply will work for this, because it's not a, a power hungry system. A 13100F uh, is about 63 watts of power it's gonna suck at max, and no GPU. So you don't really need a, a whole big, like 800 watt power supply. You can probably get away with about 250. All right, so I, I happen to have a, a SFX 700 watt because of the build I was doing, but the original one that came with it would be just fine. Um, so if you bought this, you could put all, all this in here. We have the Gigabyte 760 or B760M Ultra Durable. I got this because it had the most BRM on it uh, for this price anyway. Got one, uh, six, seven, eight, nine VRMs on here. So that's quite a bit for a B series. And it's also 13th gen already. So I will be flashing the BIOS, 
but that's not uh, even necessary because it's already 13th gen. I can drop this right in. Uh, went ahead and got 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. Not that it's needed. My server, like I said, had 16 gigabytes. You could go for 16 gigs. It'd be just fine. I never saw it reach above eight gigs of usage. And the CPU that they were using never reached above 2% usage. The CPU is a very small part of a Minecraft server. It's all on the RAM. But um, yeah, so I got me a lot of RAM. Don't need to do that. You can save probably about 80 bucks by getting 16 instead of 64 uh, gig kit. Also, didn't need this, okay? This is a uh, master, mass, cooler master, 120 uh, millimeter uh, all-in-one cooler. This already comes with its own uh, stock cooler, and this will be plenty for running this Minecraft server. Just fine. You don't need the liquid cooling like I'm about to do. Uh, I'm just I'm just a little extra, so uh, I wanted wanted to do that. And then I'm kind of cheating. I already had a Sabrent, uh one terabyte uh, NVMe drive. So this was like a hundred bucks. I'm not counting this because you can get an e NVMe 500 gig for about twenty five dollars. And then I'm throwing this in. You don't need to do, do this either. This is just what I had laying around. It's a GT uh, 1030. It's just a small basic graphics card just so I can boot it up and see what's going on. Um, but you don't need like a, you don't even need a graphics card. If you just got the integrated one, I was just trying to save some money because I already had a graphics card. You don't need to do that. Anyway, so why are we here? Uh, should I just throw this in the case? Well, I can't because I want this. I want this all in one cooler inside this case. Well, I do already have the speed hole, but if you look, there is no room for this cooler right here. This is where it needs to go. So this has to go. I need to get rid of this drive bay. And what I'll probably end up doing is putting some like mesh here uh, for filtering or something at a later time. But for now, we're just I'm just gonna cut this out and just hopefully it'll fit here. Um, so yeah, I got the grinding wheel. I'm gonna pull all this stuff aside for now. Kinda wanna open, I wanna open this up though and see what it looks like before I start cutting. I probably have to make the hole a little bit bigger. Get your screwdriver at lttstore.com. Okay. I don't need this right now. I will need this, however. All right, we're gonna get going right now. Okay, so we got the cooler. Let's open this thing up. just fine there. Look at that. And then this is gonna curve over here hopefully. It's got enough give in it. We'll find out won't we. It should, it should be fine. Yeah. Yeah that'll be good. Now are these holes gonna be... I might have to make like a template.
First off, I gotta remove this old crap. Now, if you're doing this, you're gonna have to look up, I'll, I'll post a little diagram. If you're using this exact uh, setup, I'll post a diagram on the power switch so you can reuse the same power switch and how to wire into the original one. And uh, you seem to get these little uh, jumper cables, uh, little extendos, and they're already labeled power switch, power LED. That's all you need. You don't need the reset. You don't need all the, the other crap. Just that. And you really don't need that if you want to reach in your case and jump it by hand every time, but that's not ideal. Uh, and that beer makes it work. And this thing was so cool. It had RGB. I cut it out right here and put some RGB strips. It's even got a little, little uh, type C connector here. Not going to be necessary, but I'll leave that one at least. And then I had a, I just exchanged these uh, USB 2 ports for USB 3. And in order to do that, I had to like jerry rig 2. I had to like melt. Uh, some adapters together, or what you call them. Yeah, and then they wouldn't fit in there right. Anyway, they, they worked. They worked just fine. Mother flipping sh. Where'd it go? Okay. We got here. Boom. SATA cable anymore, but uh, okay. this case has been mangled. There used to be dry base here too. I had to cut those out because originally I didn't want to cough up the money for a new power supply because this thing was expensive. To get an SFX power supply that was 700 watts, it's like 200 bucks at least. Uh, they don't because they don't make not a common size and uh yeah and so that what i originally did was wire two power slide supplies together i wired a 250 and a 450 together to make 650 but they weren't really designed for it like a 3060 so every time that the power would uh spike it would shut down the computer because uh a standard power supply is not meant to handle like a hunger, a power hungry GPU during gaming. So just so you can save yourself some time, you need to get a newer type of power supply so that it can handle those uh, spikes of power. It'll handle it like like regular usage for any graphics card, probably if you wire them together like I did, um, but. Yeah, in gaming it spikes and spikes and it can't handle that. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know if you see this. I, I melted these these uh, USB 3 connectors all together so that they would fit. I had to like cut them down and yeah, it was a pain in the ass. It took a long time and I inhaled a lot of fumes and I didn't even use it. I'm going to leave this taped here. And yeah, this is also part of the problem because I had this fan was wired directly into the power supply and just spinning at like 5,000 RPMs. Just this thing was fucking going. All right. It looks cool. It looks cool, but I, you don't want that noise. This is it's too much noise. I had eight fans in here all together. I took fans out of power supplies. Anywhere there's a spot to put a fan, I zip tied it in there. I even took the fan and the power power supply, flipped it upside down, and wired it directly into the power supply itself, so that it would shoot air up into the computer instead of blowing it out. 
Oh, I have to suck cool air in. I need more fans. Any fan I can get, I was taking it. All for nothing. I spent so I probably spent about three, two to three grand just trying to make this case work. And here I go again. I just I really like this case. It's a perfect size. You can fit everything in here. And it looks it doesn't look bad, especially after I painted it. it looks alright. Alright, we'll leave that. I'll try not to cut this wire. Uh, yeah, gotta be really careful. Maybe I'll take it out. Maybe I'll take it out. Yeah, I'll take it out. I know me. I will hit this wire for sure. Can't hit How do I take Okay, I'm just gonna be careful. Be extra careful. Alright. I probably don't even need to take this little jigger thing out. Let's see here. Yeah, it just needs. Almost fits in the drive bay. Probably, eh. I'm gonna cut it all out. Just cut it all out. Leave me plenty of room. Whatever I want to do. So here's some paint. Uh, that's what I have here. All right, let's get ready to rumble.
Oh, it's just flat. I'll leave it. I'll leave that right there. Oh, I don't need to move that. I hope. Okay. And this thing. That's gonna be just perfect. Just perfect. Uh, the hole that I already have there is a little big, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll fill it in with something. Do something about it. Something about it. All right. So we have to drill some holes for this sucker. Okay. Drill some holes. Need a template. Need the template. screwdriver has collected all the metal fragments. Do not drill around the LTT screwdriver, it will collect everything. Okay. Might use this again. Put that there. LTT. I ain't gonna need that though. I ain't gonna need that though. Okay. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Hopefully I don't need this thing grinder again. Stabby with this. Stabby, stabby.
Boom. Okay. Perfect template. Put those back out. We got that straight on the paper. That's close enough. Let's get an idea. You want it centered on that hole. You want it centered on the hole. I'm gonna call it good right there. All right, now I need to punch it.
good. I think he'll be alright. He'll be alright.
Oh man, a flippin' truth though. Oh, that bit. This thing's gonna fit. Um, I got it, finally, uh, sort of, I got this thing sort on here, one of the screws already popped out, it's not, I'll have to glue these in or get bigger screws to hold it in, 
But, uh, and then the radiator, I got one, two, three screws. The other one didn't quite line up, so I tried to make it bigger, but then it kind of just falls through the hole, and it's no good. So, uh, yeah, maybe later I get another screw for it. But uh, it's fine. It's not going nowhere. It's good. Three screws is, is plenty. Four screws is overkill. You don't need that. Anyway, let's get a, let's get a fan on there. This is not going to be open. No one's going to see this. That's why I didn't care if I had an RGB. This is going to really suck if that doesn't reach. These should turn. I don't know why they don't turn. That's lame. Should have went more expensive. Mo money. Should have got the double radiator since I went all that work. Okay. the stock cooler would have been fine for what we're doing but it is what it is I like it I want it have this fan wired into the 
the power supply itself, not where it actually needs to go, but that's fine. More airflow. nice cheap motherboard honestly it looks good it's got like they had other ones like the like i could have gone with like a six nine no like a b6 whatever this one is b660 or something like that and uh it's a previous gen and it is slightly cheaper just slightly what the frick is that oh that's antenna didn't have Wi-Fi. This one has Wi-Fi. And those other ones only had two RAM spots. This one has four. For only like $20 more, I have options. I can expand. Yes, look at that. Yeah, four slots. It's 13th gen. I can have two M.2s in here. Um, it's only got one of these little babies right there. 2.5 gigahertz uh, land speed. Uh, we're kicking. Cooking, kicking and cooking. For some reason, you put the RAM in the second slot, which I never understood that. I don't know why that's the optimized slot, but it is. This. That.
on each side. So close that they're not the same. Here and put the everything in here. Not too hard, just a little bit, Feel a little extra tight. Put this ram in there. I've already probably broke because I've dropped it three times. It's not very nice. Like some of these. Yeah, you can actually close them. Huh. Here's the cool. You grab onto it. Ashes NVMe in here. I don't think this is even necessary on this one.
Boom. Okay. This, uh... The Apple The cheapest of it. This is so cheap. I can't believe how cheap this thing is. It's like $111 for a 13th gen CPU. Which, this has four cores, but they're 13th gen cores. So they're putting out, I don't know, oh, almost, I think it's over 5 gigahertz. I have to have a look. Does not say on the box, but I remember right, it was over 5. Intel cool processor, more like cool processor. See, we could have saved ourselves so much work if I just threw this on there. Wow, that actually looks cool. Look at that. I almost want to put this on now. Say, frick that. That is a beastly cooler right there. That would have been so easy just to snap in there too. Oh, I'm beating myself over the head. Look at that. Look at that. It probably would have, would have fit just perfect in there. Yeah, just, just use this thing. Just use that. It's probably fine. And if it's not fine, you'll find out. And then you can do this crazy. Yes, so you can try and put it. All in one cooler. I bet that Intel cooler cools even better than this thing, though. Okay. Air it on that way. I've never had a one before, or an i three. This is this is really something special. Ba -ba boom boom bada boom and we are good to go well, let me make the I'm sure these screws are even screwed in it didn't look right I may have a few different sizes here no those are definitely at least there but not the right screw No, these are not going to work. Uh, get out of there. I'm stuck. Come on. some screws out of another computer. Those seem like they work. So Starhead, I'm gonna have to go get my other screwdriver for this. Okay. Yeah. 
How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least close to that number. Trying to get flippy. Okay. What was next? Oh yeah, let's screw it in. Screw it in. Different screws in here. One more. Maybe later I get more screws. All right. All right. Went ahead and got some more screws because probably. 
probably need them. I don't need them on there. They do not match though. Which is fine. We got three different kinds of screws on here. They will work. Maybe not. Crap. Wrong size. Again. Okay. Well, the screws there, there will work. That one felt like it went in. Maybe just that one's weird. I don't know. It's in there. Who knows? Who knows? Let me wipe my glasses off. Okay. Next up, thermal paste. Not that one. This one. Did I not bring the dang paper towel? Frick. I just gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Rag right here somewhere. Ah, there we go. See, I'd like to do it is spread it out. Some people will just glob it on there. Hair on under this one. The whole purpose of this is to fill in any cracks that are not cracks, the defects in the metal. This metal isn't perfect. And this is just a filler. It doesn't actually have much for cooling properties. It's just a gap filler. That's all it is. You don't want a whole bunch on here. You want as much contact with metal on metal as you can. But this is like, I really don't believe in this stuff, honestly. I think it'd be fine without it. I'd like to do a test one time. See if like a thinner application is better than a thicker. So I really think a thin application of this stuff is much better than a thick one. Really perfect and perfectionist when it comes to thermal paste. Okay, it's on there. Okay, now let me figure out how this goes on. So apparently. Man, I really kind of wish I just went with the thought cooler now. Like, it would have been fine. A little less work. I guess it wouldn't have been as entertaining just to use the stock cooler. Where my instructions go? I need them. Put them again. Ah, I got you. You got Okay, A and B, no. Intel, yes. And they want me to screw these things with a G on the top. Okay, on the top. So it goes like that, and then they can see the screws. Oh, son of a bitch. Gotta be these. Man, I got a bit. 
Boom, bada, boom. Everybody's got their own way of doing this, this whole AIO cooler thing. That doesn't. Is it supposed to go over here? No! Why would you make it symmetrical if it was only supposed to go on one side? Dang it. Okay. Ugh. Why would you make it so it can go on either way? The wrong way or the right way? I hate when they do this kind of stuff. There's no purpose for that. Just to mess with me. Play those games, Cooler Master. I'm done with you. I'm done with Cooler Master. Had the better reviews on Amazon. Okay. All sex. All sex. Come on. You're on there. Almost done. Okay. Reach. I hope this will reach. I didn't even look. Ah. Can you imagine that? The best magnet in the world. Sometimes the pain. Get in the herd. Get in the herd. Early. Get in. Hey ho. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Seeing if it reaches. Gotta take out the peel, otherwise you make a mistake. Okay. What does it say? Is there a certain way? I think 
matters since it's symmetrical. It's saying to put it like that. But I don't know if I can put it like that. Well, let's hope for the best. It looks symmetrical. It kind of looks longer that way. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like you can cover it either way. Well, I have to put it this way. There's no other way for me to put it because of what I've done. Very close. To that. So for the 1700, you use I. It's the same thing. Why do you need a different picture? Good. Hopefully this freaking thing will close. it open.
it's gonna squeeze the frick out of it. All right, well, whatever, whatever. That's good. It'll be fine. Um, this for the pump. I'm gonna put the pump. That's a CPU fan. CPU fan better. Okay. All right, we're looking good. The main thing I'm gonna have an issue with is the power, and since it doesn't look like. Ah, I did. It. Okay. What I need is the diagram for the connector. I can't use my phone. Hopefully it's labeled in here. Okay, it is. LED. Speaker. Power LED. Power. Yeah, there's power. Power LED. So, what do I got here? Power switch, power LED. Positive. remember which way was positive on the power switch. I don't think it really matters though. It just matters on the LED. Again, I'll put up a little picture of how the power switch is wired in. Um, you just have to you have to mess with it. Okay, next is let's get the all this junk going. I think I'm only gonna need two of these. It's the motherboard and the, the motherboard. Is this PCIe? Nope.
way. This is not even necessary because I cut the back end of this off so that I could put a GPU in sideways there. So this is not going to do anything unless I zip tie it in there. But it's nice to have the right one on there. See sunlight on a day. It's a sunny day. Been up all night. All night. That's all right. That's what, I'll, what I should have done, because this is, I don't really have a great way to mount this back here anyway, so I probably should have just went with the integrated graphic card in the CPU. Oh well.
Oh, there we go. Thing just doesn't seem like it's lining up anymore. Hmm. Taking out some of its structural support has taken out of alignment a bit. There we go. Oh yeah, let's get this front. Ooh, I guess I can put that in there. USB 3 spot, but not for a Type C. Don't see it. Okay. Well, not necessary. There, but whatever. We'll pretend like it works. And we got an adapter. Not that I'm going to need it at all. See if it'll even start. Yeah. Okay. Try and post it today because it's already late, but tomorrow we will be posting it. We're getting this thing ready for Minecraft. still loud as frick because of that stupid power supply. Look at that. That's spinning. That's a light. I didn't know it had RGB. Very cool. 
Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's working. Actually working. It's a working. Oh yeah. It's a working. Just shut off. It's just trying to post. I'm trying to post. It's gonna, I'm gonna shut it off. And build this later. Yeah, that fan got to come back out, and I got to rewire it. That way, so it's maybe I'll just wire it into the motherboard. Um, but yeah, pick it up tomorrow, and I'm gonna rewire that, and we'll start start a Minecraft server. Yeah, it's gonna be fun.